So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create new project. We are going to go to upload images. And here we're going to go to upload pattern. You're going to click browse. And you're going to navigate to where your photo is. So I have some photos right here and you can pick any photo you want. Um, there's nothing particular about these. So we're going to click open. And this is generally used for patterns. So you can pick all these tag words if you want. You can see this is a picture of my grandson's first birthday. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to add any tags, but I'm just going to click save. And it'll take just a moment. Photo files are rather large and patterns in general take longer to upload than a regular uploaded image. Once you have it uploaded, you're not going to see it here in your uploaded images. It's in the patterns. So what we're going to do is click cancel. And now we're going to go to insert shapes. And let's just choose a star just for fun. I'm going to make this kind of big. And this is how you cut a picture into a shape. So we're going to click on the star over here in the edit panel and we're going to change this to print. And then we're going to choose this option right here called patterns right below the print button. And here you're going to see all the patterns that are in design space, but we're going to go down here and click filter and I'm going to click on my patterns. These are patterns that I uploaded. And I'm going to click back up here and we should see all the patterns that I uploaded and you'll see right here is the picture of my grandson. I have the star selected so I'm going to click on the pattern and there you can see he is now part of the pattern. Now if I want to edit that, say I don't want it, don't like the way particularly it's cutting them off right here, which I actually think that's kind of cute, but I'm going to click edit and here I can scale the pattern. I can make more of him be seen. And since this isn't a repeating pattern, it will try to repeat the photo. And I can shift the horizontal and vertical positioning of the photo. I can move him down a little bit, move him up a little bit. I actually like it over here like it was. And I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. Actually scale it up. I'm trying to fill those corners up. and maybe I'll move him over just a little bit. So that is how you fill a shape with a photo. So this will now become a print and cut image and you can see that over here. Now in the case of the Rolodex, we can go to uploaded images and I'm going to choose this Rolodex file that I've already uploaded and I've linked this in another video if you want to grab that file and click insert images. And again, I can click on this I can go to print, click patterns. The filter is still on for my pattern. So here is ACE and I can make a Rolodex card out of ACE. And again, if I want to change the scale, I click edit and I can change the scale up or down. I can move him left or right. And I actually just really like the way this photo is coming in. And this is a, I believe a four by six photo. So it's filling these shapes really nicely. Okay, so I made these images kind of large for demonstration purposes, but I know I'm using Chrome and I'm in Design Space and this is going to be a printable image. So the biggest I can cut is six, no, I'm sorry, 5.5 inches wide using the Design Space um, application in Chrome. If you're using your iPad, you do have a larger printable area, but on Design Space, you have a, um, but in Design Space, you have a restraint of 5.5 for your smallest side. So I'm going to change this height to 5.5. And just to show you what we're talking about here, we're going to hit go. And you're going to see this is a print and cut image. It's going to print this from my printer. I'm going to put this printed page on my mat. It's going to read the registration marks and it's going to cut out around this star with ACE just exactly like I have in pictured here. And the same with this one. So that is how you 
can take a photo and cut it out in a shape using Cricut Design Space. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be how to take a photo, like a four by six photo, just put it on your mat and using the iOS app and the snap map feature, where you're going to cut the shapes out of the photo that way. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.